And who else to bring it to you but ABT? We're here for you whenever you need us. This is another big fight, though, coming up here, Pauly. It's going to be, be for the 156-pound uh, championship. Tom Ataro is going to be fighting out of the red corner. Atardo, Atardo, check that, folks. Atardo. And, and fighting out of the blue corner is Hilario. Andre. Hilario Andre. Andre, is it, this looks like it's an, another good fight. I, I see you got your uh, card set up. A little, little, little bit of a learning process since last night. I seem to have him fouled up right now. Is that what, this is Rotaro and. Uh, Atardo Atar versus, versus Andre. Tom Atardo fighting out of the red corner. Hiliaro Atande. Here we go. Tom Atardo out of the red corner. He fights out of the, out of South Boston, and fighting out of the blue corner from the round. And Andre, 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 I Andre, fighting out of round one boxing club. And here we go, we're underway in the first round. Andres in the, it's tough to decipher these fighters as they both kind of have the same outfits on. Andre has the longer shorts, Parley. That's how we'll decipher these two. Uh, Atado, 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 Atado with the with the big shots on the shot of fire. Here we go back again with the tall uh, tall fighter and the short fighter. Say which one has got the best advantage. Well, the tall guy's got to punch downward, and the short guy's punching up. You have more power punching up than you have punching down. This kid, uh, Atado, is a great fighter, and we saw him last night. And Andre is a great fighter too. But I'm going to uh, lean toward Otato a little bit here if I could, because I know as, uh, as the fight goes on, he's going to get inside this uh, Andre and then and put his uh, ability together. But uh, I'm not putting Andre down. Andre's a great fighter, and uh, uh, we're going to see something happen here very shortly. Otato landed a left uppercut as Andre was coming off the ropes. Now they're in the center of the ring. This is another kind of feeling out process here in the first round, Paul. Yep, uh, you got two dangerous fighters up right, up there. Both of them are good punches, and they're uh, not taking any chances because one slip of either one of these fighters, they got the ability to take you out with one punch. Sure, the 156-pound weight class. These guys are these guys are good size, and, and they can and they can move. As a Tardo is, is kind of stationary in the middle of the ring, with Andre kind of dancing around. Now now they're stationary, and they're just looking to, for that open shot. Well, but, but, uh, Atado got uh, staggered with that right hand, walked into a right hand. That's the bad thing about a shot, uh, a shot fighter coming on a tall guy. Shouldn't be lunging. But watch Atado. When he gets hurt, boy, he really opens up. There he goes. Atado moving in like that on Andre. Because he got hurt, he's got to show his opponent that he's not hurt by attacking and showing aggression. That, that's it, Paul. He's coming right at him, but... but now Andre try, trying to dance his way and, and try to pick and choose his shots in there. Atardo is just kind of staying stationary, look, looking for that op opening that Andre might be, might be giving him, but they, there hasn't been a punch landed in, in a little bit of a spell here. Well, uh, I've, I've been noticing that uh, Andre has got a great right hand, and he's waiting to use it because he knows he can take Atado out with it. Atado uh, has got to get in closer and, uh, on Andre. Atado uh, is a little bit uh, both fighters respect him uh, very much there. That's why they keep him at such a far distance. But Atado, he wants to have any chance here. He's got to get in close. He's got to get close. Some of them right hands are really hurting him right now. Atado, he just seems to be counter-punching. Andre's Andre's attack, as it were, Pauly. Now at the end of the round, Atardo lands a couple to the body, but that'll do it for the first round of action here in the 156-pound weight class. It's Atardo versus Andre, Pauly. That was a good first round, though. It was a great first round and a lot of action. Uh, uh, Atardo got hit with a good right hand, a couple of good right hands in that first round. He was hurt. 
But uh, Otato's got to get in close uh, because Andre is getting some good right hands on him. And this is, this is going to be an exciting round. We've got to watch this one because there be, could be a chance of a knockout here before this one's over. Here we are. Artardo staying in the center of the ring, waiting for Hilario Andre to come at him, and then he counterpunches. That left hand is, is keep, keeping, keeping Andre away. Artardo now, now looks like he might have to bring the fight to this, to this, uh, to this spot, boxer. Well, it's unusual uh, seeing Otato from last night uh, laying back like he is. I guess he was, those right hands uh, hurt him, and uh, uh, Andre is just waiting for him coming in. We're looking to get that big right hand in. He's got to reach uh, Andre, and he's got a good right hand punch. But Otato is not doing a, his job as being a shot of fight, of moving in with a left jab and getting underneath Andre's uh, guard and, and do some body working. Uh, they see, uh, Otato's uh, fighting from the middle of the ring, keeping the distance, which is one thing he should be doing right now. Andre's got a chance to pick what he wants right now. Andre, you're right, Paulie. He looks like he, he's kind of waiting for that opening, but with the uh, action that Otardo did, did put on, put on um, Andre in the first couple of rounds, it look, he may be in the advantage. He kind of has my advantage of my scorecard at the moment, but you never know. That was a beautiful left hook by uh, Otato. Now, Otato, one thing about this Otato, I know his father was a great fighter, and Otato must have got the same uh, uh, blood of his father because he gets, when he gets hurt, he gets angry, and he comes back fighting hot. As you see right now, uh, great punches by Otato right there. Great right hand and left hook by Otato. But Andre uh, looks good. He's uh, fighting off, trying to get that right hand in, and which he just did score it again, Andre. But Otato's really making a fight out of this. What an exchange there. They're, they're going tooth and nail here in the third round of the 156-pound weight class. These two are, are really ripping it up here tonight. They're, they're, not letting, they're not holding back anything tonight, Paul. No, oh, these fights are great fights. And like I say again, uh, this is for the win, and they need that win to make the... Them, uh, the fighters they want to be, and especially that, to be able to take that cup and trophy home tonight. Yes, sir. This, but this fight now, I tell you, is a very close match, the way I see it. Only because Andre has been coming back, but now Atardo is is trying to take back the momentum. I think that he carried for the first two rounds. Yep, Atardo's coming in. Like I say, Atardo's coming in with great punches now. I know one thing about Atardo. He's the type of fighter that when he gets hurt, he fights even harder. Sometimes you shouldn't hurt a guy like Atalo because it's just like Marciano. If you hurt him, he's going to end up taking you out of there. Left hand landed by Atalo, and that'll do it for the third and final round.